Vita VM Buildup Layering with base dentine, transpot dentine, and enamel to create a restoration with a natural appearance and a lifelike impression of depth. VM13 is shown as an example of the Vita VM Buildup Layering Technique. First, the model is insulated with Vita Modisol, and the metal substructure prepared with wash opaque and opaque is placed on the model. Base dentine is mixed with modeling liquid to obtain a creamy consistency. The liquid should be applied laterally to avoid air impactions during mixing. It is recommended to use an agate or glass spatula for mixing. Beginning from the cervical area, the shade intensive base dentine is applied in reduced tooth size. It is decisive for the shade reproduction and is used generously in the body area. Mamelons are already formed with base dentine to create a lifelike restoration. Complete palatally with base dentine. View of the reduced base dentine layering from the incisal and labial. Transpod dentine is applied thinly to the entire crown. Its lower degree of shade intensity and high degree of translucency serve to enhance the impression of depth in the restoration. To this purpose, mix the transpod dentine to a creamy consistency. The resulting mixture has optimum modeling properties and very good stability characteristics. Beginning in the cervical area, the crown is built up with transpot dentine. In order to create a harmonious transition to the enamel, the mamelons should be lengthened with transpod dentine. The neighboring tooth indicates the length of the mamelons. Transpod dentine is built up palatally. Labial view of completed transpod dentine buildup. For the build-up layering, enamel is applied, tapering thinly in the upper third only. Enamel is mixed with Vita VM modeling liquid following the usual procedure. Ensure an optimal moisture level so that the ceramic mixture retains its good stability characteristics. The enamel is applied cervically in a half moon shape in the upper third. It is best to apply it in several small portions. This prevents pressure on the layers beneath. Enamel is applied palatally to complete the tooth shape.
incisal view of the restoration showing the completed buildup. Before firing, close the interdental spaces and smooth in the applied ceramic in the cervical area towards the crown margin using a soft, dry brush. The firing parameters of the required firing program should be checked before each firing cycle. The ceramic should still be slightly moist for firing. Corrections after the first firing are made with transpod dentine and enamel. The completed crown before the second firing. Firing according to the given parameters. A successful firing result is shown by a light surface glaze. The crown is polished before the glaze firing and is modeled on the structure of natural teeth. The surface is cleaned and can be wetted with Vita Accent fluid. The glaze firing is carried out. The completed Vita VM buildup layering. Three layers for a restoration with a natural appearance and an enhanced impression of depth.